All right. Hey, nice one. Nice one there, Chris. Hey, I'm Ted Takasaki with Midwest Outdoor, and we're out here with my Skins of Buddies. We're on Big Spirit Lake out of Iowa. That's a great start there, Chris. You betcha, that's a nice first guinea where you go. All right, stay tuned. I tell you what, we just kind of got set up here, drilled a few holes and uh, try to figure out where these fish are. And Chris just caught one here. I caught one right here. We're gonna set the shack up. With this Venom float, I just changed the size of the jig from this little teeny jig to this heavier spoon. I'm gonna hit it here with this, this brand new Venom night light. Oh man, it's got UV. I can focus it and just hit it real quick. It's got UV, 100% UV light. I can do it from far away. I can get up close. I can change the, look at how it really hits it hard. Well, I tell you what, Thane and Tanya have been catching a few perch and uh, they were nice enough to give me the new hot little lure that they've been catching them on. It's a glow jig. Okay, and I'm, I'm using just this little double jig rig here. Small one, a little bit bigger on the bottom, small one on the top. And I'm gonna hit this baby. Ooh, look at how that baby glows up. All right, bobber down. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh man, I'm telling you what, just as soon as I hit that glow jig with that UV, I mean that fish bit. Unbelievable. Nice. Beauty. Yeah, baby. A little bit of UV light. Adjust the float just perfectly. That's the results. Now I just switched the lighter jig from the spoon and you can see now it's not set right. It's just too high. I'm gonna pull this bobber out. I'm gonna push it in. Oh, there you go. Now see where the the tip of the bobber is just barely above the surface of the water and that's where it's adjusted just perfectly and that's what makes these venom adjustable floats so nice is that you can keep on changing the foam until you get that adjusted just perfectly so that the tip of the foam is just right above the water line. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> yeah, nice fish. Nice bird. <laughs> After the jig has been down for a little bit and those magnets have been soaking for a while, it's always a good idea to reach in and freshen up the bait a little bit. Get some new, new stuff on there, some new juice. Right. Yes. I tell you what. You know, when that, uh, when that fish hit this St. Croix Avid Glass ice rod, it didn't even feel it. Just an awesome, awesome pan fishing rod. The thing is, right here, with that tip top, that little rod tip there, that fiberglass rod tip, it acts like a spring bobber. And I watch and I see a lot more bites than I actually feel. And you're gonna catch a lot more fish like that. Sometimes if I'm not getting a bite, I'll drop it back down and then kind of slowly lift. And if they follow it, usually they're going to come and hit it. There it is. Perfect. There you go. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, look at that. He come right off. Well, we're going to go out and talk to Perry a little bit. He's fished Big Spirit Lake forever. In fact, Perry and I, he put me on my very first muskie on Big Spirit many, many years ago. Well, Perry, you've been standing outside here, and I've been in that nice warm shack over there. How, how you been doing? Perch have been biting good this morning. Awesome, no nice doubt. nice schools of fish come through. And... Well, we've been fishing 20 foot of water and it's kind of in this basement. What, what's keeping these fish here? Well, Ted, this time of year, it seems like the fish like to move around. They look for these blood worms that are hatching in the mud. So, if, you know, it seems like wherever there's a hatch going on, that's where these perch are concentrating in nice schools, you know? So you just kind of got to move around until you hit an area where you start picking up fish.
It was an incredible day on Big Spirit Lake today. We caught a ton of yellow perch. Now, we're here at Cable's Trading Post in Spirit Lake, Iowa, and we've got a big contest, a fish cleaning contest with Team Cable versus Team Skins It. Are the contestants ready? We're ready to go. Let's get ready to clean some fish. One, two, three. <laughs> we had a great time out here at, at Cables in Spirit Lake, Iowa. This is Ted Takasaki with Team Cables and with Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back.